do we get agricultural property relief at 100% or 50%? Well, we talked about this briefly before. We said that in the ordinary way, if it was um, after the 1995, it's going to be 100%. But if it is let to another farmer um, that is before the 1st of September 1995, it will only be at 50%. So it's likely, as I said before, to be constructed under that old Styles Agricultural Holding Act. Whereas after the 30th of August 1995, we had the farm business tenancies. And so if we did have that lease prior to September 1995, and it's got more than two years to run, the farmers are only going to get 50% agricultural property relief. Ownership requirements. Well, First and foremost, our taxpayer must have owned the relevant property for two years. So you can see when we're talking about this, we are always going to have a rule and we're always going to have some exceptions. So when we're talking about a farmer themselves, they need to have owned it for two years. So if you're the farmer, you need to have owned it for two years before you're going to get business property relief. However, sometimes people will own a farm, but they won't be farming it themselves. They will be only the owner of the farm and they will have perhaps a local farmer in their farm farming it for them. If this is the case, then they need to have owned it for seven years if they are not the farmer themselves. So two very distinct ownership requirements. If you're doing the farming, you only need to own it for two years. If someone else is doing the farming, you need to own it for seven. What else might you see? Well, we'll also see farm houses and farm cottages. And there are a number of provisions around farm houses and farm cottages. So if we look at farm cottages first, these tend to be the residences that the farm workers live in. Whereas when we talk about farm houses, that's where your farmer is going to be living. So when we talk about your farm cottages, they need to be occupied for the purpose of agriculture. What does that mean? It means that they are either lived in by the farming staff, so someone who's actually farming the property, either the retired farming staff themselves or a widow or widower of the farming staff. As long as the farm cottages have an inhabitant who was one of those three categories, the value of the farm cottage will get full agricultural property relief.